guys, welcome back to Boudoir and Beyond. I'm your host, Ariana, and this is Anna. She's Hello. a really close friend of mine. She is actually the studio owner of the podcast space that I always record in. So um, Anna is going to be my guest today. We have a really fun topic to talk about. Um, I did use the anonymous box for this one, and we're basically going to talk about things that girls never tell guys. So I'm sorry in advance. I'm going to expose us a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, but it's fine. Um, I just feel like the last episode we did really go hard on the guys. So yeah. I'm going to even out the playing field. Um, but before we get started, um, this is our 10th episode. It's the last episode of this year. I already have one lined up for next year, and I'm so excited. But I did want to say that I am going to be bringing on more small businesses and other business owners on the podcast to talk about several other topics because this isn't just, you know, for fun. And, like, yeah. we will still continue to have these episodes where I'll bring on, like, a client or somebody else that wants to do, like, a fun episode with me but um I do still want to focus on doing more on the business side because that is what this is so on that note we're gonna get started Anna doesn't know what's on the list yeah I'm gonna be very surprised <laughs> so I'm gonna read them off and we can just kind of like talk about them um but the first one on the list is our favorite bra doesn't get washed as much as the others um true <laughs> True as fuck. I can't tell you the last time I washed my bra. <laughs> the embarrassing thing is, is that I remember my mom like telling me when I was like in junior high. Okay, this was like a long time ago. But basically, she would always be like, don't be that girl that has a bra that's like, it's supposed to be white, but it's like gray <laughs> yes. or brown or yes. whatever. Because you never wash it. Yes. And so from then on, I was like, I'm never buying a white bra. Literally, Again, I've never, I, I've never bought a white bra. It's I like always it a, dark colors. Yeah, or nude or yes, something. Yes. Or you just don't wear one at all. Yeah. Which like in my case, Literally like <laughs> I got my boobs done, so I just like never wear. A bra yeah, anymore. I never wear one. But never. I, especially in the winter. Yeah. When we're like wearing sweaters and stuff. No, like, literally, no, I am not wearing one. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no need. Um, yeah. I'm like free the nip, whatever. Guys, yeah, cannot, it's fine. Ha, guys don't have to wear under 2020, or almost 2024. Yeah, we'll be fine. But that's nip. definitely something that like we don't tell men. And I feel like it's not until you get into like a serious relationship where like the guy is coming to stay over a lot, or mm -hmm. like you guys move in together, yeah. that they see it in yeah. like the dirty hamper at one point, or like on the floor. Yes, and they're like. What is this? Yes. But I think the equivalent is guys, and we actually talked about this in the last podcast, when they don't buy new underwear. Because their oh, underwear is don't like, get me started on that one. It's freaking holy. It's like raggedy. And they're like, oh, I bought this since high school. I'm like, how old are you? Oh, God. That reminds me of something. <laughs> uh, and that reminds me of Oscar. Um, I literally had to beg and plead him to go get some new underwear because well, it was just like very holy. That is so funny. But I feel like it's super common too for girlfriends and even wives like to yeah. get their men underwear for like Christmas. Yes. And I'm like, happy holidays. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's so true. I was like, we're going to get you some new underwear. And then while you're doing that, I'm going to get myself some new underwear too. Because I am no better either, to be honest with you. Like, What's my thongs funny? are fucked up. What's funny is in my experience... <laughs> For, like, my serious relationships, like, guys that I've dated for, like, several years, mm -hmm. and honestly, like, I say several years, but the most that the furthest I've gone is, like, well, I was married once, so mm -hmm. four mm -hmm. years, but um, the two-year relationships, like, their moms were always yeah. the ones that bought them underwear. Oh, God, yeah. And I was like... I get it, but it's also kind of weird. Yeah. Like, don't wait for your mom yes. to buy you underwear. Like, come on. Yeah. You're 30. Totally like, agree. Ew. Totally agree. Especially if they're 30. What are you doing? What yeah. are you doing? You don't live at home anymore. No, like, like mm -mm. buy your own. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the second one is if I wear my hair a certain way, it means that I haven't had the chance to wash it in a while. Oh, my. That's literally what I'm doing right now. Like, <laughs> my hair in like four days i like you know? dry shampoo it oh, up yeah like, that's right that's or so if funny. you're just not having a good hair day you gotta just put that shit up in a bun give yourself some bangs you know yeah make it look cute yeah um i have never been that person because mm -hmm. i work out so much i feel like i'm oh. like i sweat and like i can feel like i either like stink or it's just yeah. like gross yeah and i still haven't found like a i've I have one dry shampoo that I like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it's called Which one is it? Amika is the brand. Oh, I've heard of that. Um, brand. Yeah. That one's really good, but I don't have like a smaller bottle of it. So when mm -hmm. I travel, 
I think I use I don't remember what the other brand is. Um not your mother's no. something something. That's the it's one like I a use. gray bottle. Um they sell it at Ulta. I'll have to I don't Look know. I'm just it. gonna be naming brands. Yeah, <laughs> I have no at this idea. point. But um, yeah. there was that one, and then I had one that I had from a FabFitFun box like forever ago when I used to get those. But it was brown because I have dark hair, oh. and dry shampoo is usually white. And so when you spray it, it leaves the white. Like if you don't like brush That's it true. out well yeah. or like use it properly, which yeah. I never did because I didn't like using it. Yeah, yeah. So that's something that I had to like adjust to. Yes, yes. But I am such a stickler for like just washing my hair every day. Yeah, and I know yeah. it's like terrible for your hair and your skin and yeah. whatever. And you're supposed to not wash it. But like today, this is like second day hair for me. And even it looks this, so good. Even this, I'm like, ew. What? Like I want to go right. and like wash your hair. But I don't, I also don't sweat like ever. Yeah. I, the only parts I sweat are like my lower back and like my underarms. Okay. But like your head my, doesn't sweat. Your face doesn't sweat? No. Not even when you work not out? Not at all. Not at all. Not even in the sauna. How does it feel to be God's favorite? Because. <laughs> no, it's bad because I come out and I'm like all red. Oh, you know? <laughs> I'm like, like babe, a did I get a good workout? Yes. It's so bad. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I I uh, still haven't found a good one. So if you guys have any suggestions for a good Baby powder. Shampoo. Have you tried that? No. Yeah. Baby, baby powder. powder. I, I was taught that when I was like a teenager. So. If you don't have any dry shampoo at home, just sprinkle a little bit of like baby powder and just like, and then like, yeah. But sometimes it can be really obvious if you you know put too much because like there was one time where I went to the hairdresser and it was dirty hair because you know I go to the the salon with it dirty that way it's I don't know I just well they wash it for you yeah so I'm just like it goes dirty whatever and I, I didn't realize how much baby powder I put in my hair she goes. It smells like baby powder. <laughs> what is in your hair? I was like, yeah. I mean, I didn't have any dry shampoo at home. She's like, interesting. Oh, well, it smelled good. Yeah. I smelled <laughs> you know, like a baby's while. bottom. Yep. Oh, my goodness. That's yep. so funny. <laughs> when you're sitting there just existing mm-hmm. and randomly a bunch of juice yes. comes out. Yep. Like you pissed yourself. Yes. And you have to act like nothing happened. Yes. It's known as the discharge plot. Oh, no, the discharge plot twist. Um, and you'll know it happened usually because of the expression of our face or we're excusing ourselves to the bathroom, like, mm-hmm. abruptly yep. because we're scared it's not discharge. And yes. it's usually, like, us getting our period. Yes. But that's something that we don't tell guys. Like, you literally could just be sitting here and all of a sudden you're like, oh, my God, <laughs> what is that? Sometimes Am I getting I my tell period? Him, like, really? Because we're so close. Obviously, well, yeah, like, you're, we've yeah. been together for a long time. But I'll just be sitting there and I'm like, oh, got to go to <laughs> Did I start my period? Or I'll just go like. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, yeah, uh, you got to do what you got to do. Well, and I feel like so for me, I've been on birth control like majority of the Mm -hmm. I've been on birth control for years. But like I got off, got back on, Mm -hmm, whatever, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. did the little dance. So um, I've been on birth control since January. And so I'm out of period since February of this year. What? So like I didn't know that. Yeah. So I don't get like. I don't get, um, what is it called, spotting or, like, nothing. So I get yeah. the symptoms that I'm going to get a period. Mm-hmm. So, like, I'll get bloated. My boobs will hurt. You get cramps? I get cranky. No. Oh, okay. I don't really get cramps. But oh, okay. I do I do feel bloated and all those other things. Oh, okay. Um, which, thank God, I don't get the cramps because I – the other one that we don't tell you, you like, is never, that – ever? Have you ever gotten yes, cramps? Yes. Oh, yeah. okay, I okay, used okay. to, just not on this birth control. Oh, that's so um, nice. It is That's nice. So nice. I'm like, if anybody, I'm like, <laughs> trying to like, plug yeah. my freaking birth control. <laughs> it's the next Splanon, the one that goes in your arm. It's a sponsored post. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, shout out to Planned Parenthood. <laughs> I'm like, you guys can't see it. I mean, maybe. No, no that's right. Like, I right feel like I do arm. remember it's that. It's like a little, basically, it's like a little stick, yeah. and they put it in your arm, and yeah. it didn't hurt at all. Like, they numbed me before it went in and everything. But, yeah, I've had it since February or end of January, so I am at a period. So I don't have to worry about that. Like, oh, my God, is it my period? Yeah, yeah. But I still have those moments because I don't want to say this on here, but I'm going to say mm-hmm. it anyway. I, I'm wet, like, all the time. Yeah. Oh, Yeah. And Same. so that – I've never understood the girls that can go commando because I cannot oh do that. Oh, my God. I don't. I don't know. Girls I don't know that go to the, the gym or, like, wear jeans yes. with no underwear, <laughs> I'm sorry, but, like, 
Ow. I know. Because, like, don't you chafe down That's there? What like, I'm when saying. you when you don't wear. Because, like, I have tried before trying to be, like, sexy or something. Like, but I'm not wearing underwear. I, yeah. Like, I didn't put underwear on and I put my jeans on over and I was like, ow. Like, you know, like the inseam or whatever. Yes. It, like, gets caught on your lip and you're like, God damn. It's like. And I don't feel like I got, like, crazy well, I mean, labia or anything like but insane, but even if you know i just don't know how people do it but yeah so yeah. and and if you're a girl like us where you're always mm-hmm. wet you can't be wearing like no no underwear. i mean you're gonna be having a dark spot <laughs> literally <laughs> like on your jeans or like yes. whatever so that's definitely something we don't tell guys yeah. but it very much happens to us it's mm-hmm. a real fear especially when you're like just now, like getting your period as like a young girl. Oh yeah, you're growing confused. Up, that, yeah, that if you don't fear, have that talk anyway, right? You're like, what is this? Yes, you know? yeah. And I'll I'll have moments where like uh, when I would get a period, I basically what happened was I got off birth control because I was using the Mirena. I had the Mirena, the IUD, mm-hmm. um, which if you don't know what that is, it's an intrauterine device that goes up your vagina yep. to prevent you from getting pregnant yep so um i ended up getting rid of it because i had it for a year and it was messing with me so bad what's crazy is i had it um for seven years before that and then they it expires at the seven year mark and so you're supposed to get a new one. Oh wow and so that's what i did i was a good girl and i went and i got yeah. a new one and it just like messed me up like wow. i was constantly getting periods like Every month and like oh, heavy, and I was not used to that. I was used to three days, and yeah. like one day was heavy, the other day, two days were like fine. Yeah, but this was like something I've never experienced. And then the the cramps were like terrible. Like I was like on the floor by the toilet. Like I was not okay. Literally, and so they always tell you you're supposed to wait six months to a year before you change your birth control again because you have to let your body adjust. Yeah. And so I waited the full year and it just was not getting better. And it wasn't just that. I mean, it was like a lot of things. Um, yeah. You know, the hormones and like whatever. It yeah, just yeah. Really like co- trying to go back into Guys like literally stage. don't realize like how bad birth control can be for you. Oh, yeah. I was on it one time when I was like 16 and within one year I gained like 60 pounds. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Sounds yeah. about right. Yeah. So I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. Like, mm-hmm. I got to get off. It was nice because, you know, I, I had a break from the heavy periods and stuff. Like, that's the reason why I got on it. But at what cost? Yeah. Like, yeah. at what cost? Because then you, you gained so much weight, at least for me. Yeah. I gained a bunch of weight. Well, and we're both short. So, like, yeah. any amount of weight that's, oh, like, too so much bad. for us, like, you can see it immediately. Yeah. And, like, yeah. for me, usually it's, like, it's on my, all face. my face. Yeah, like, and the all chin. Right here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Which I'm like, dang, if we could, like, pick where the fat goes. I know. Like, just in my ass. Yeah. Like, just inject it in my ass. <laughs> you know? Or, like, here. Like, yeah. be nice. Yeah. You know? I'm like, I had to pay for mine. Yeah. So I got, come on. Yeah. They hoed me. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that's definitely one of the – oh, so to piggyback on the last one that I just talked about – we said, like, especially when we're on our period, mm-hmm. we have, like, blood clots. So that's yes. – I forgot to, like, finish talking about it. But basically when I was on the marina, that's what was happening to me. Mm-hmm. I had, like, clots. Like, I'm talking, like, I thought I was dying. Yeah. And I was, like, this – it, I mean, it wasn't like a miscarriage. Yeah, but yeah. it was very much like a lot. Though. Yeah, I've and had it that a few scared times. me because yeah. I was like, "Am I anemic? Like, do I need to take more iron? Like, what's going Low key, on? Is that a thing? Like, when you're if, anemic? Or? Yeah. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. <gasps> hmm, maybe I should go to the doctor to figure that yeah, out. Yeah, I'm like, let's maybe both go sometimes. and just get like a blood sample of like everything that's going on with us. <laughs> yes, so I'm honestly. like, is my cholesterol high? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 30. Yes. So, well, actually, I'm 31 now. So Yeah, yeah. We're on Getting our 30s old. now. Gotta, gotta pay attention to what our body's telling us. Yeah, for real. So much fun. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay, so another thing that we don't tell guys, and we talked about this before we got in here, but when a girl farts, <laughs> <laughs> girls poop and fart. Yep. Um, And some of us shit. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> It's only just a few. Only a few. Only Girls f- don't poop. The IBS baddies. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> so when a girl farts, sometimes it rolls forward. <laughs> you gotta make towards our out. vagina instead of going back. And like, okay, and we explained this to Oscar, yep. which is so funny because he was like, what? He was like yes. mind blown. Yes. <laughs> and I guess it depends on the way that you're sitting, like how much yeah. is coming out of you. Yeah. But yeah, it definitely rolls forward sometimes. Yeah. With the way then... I'm sitting, it definitely would go forward right now. <laughs> you know, no, the good thing I'm it's... sitting at like an angle, it would be like, you know? <laughs> well, the good thing is, is that you normally can't hear it. Yeah. Normally. You know what's crazy, I... though, is that like, 
Okay, and Oscar can attest to this. So for me, I have IBS, okay? Same. But I am not the one to fart ever. Like, I like, oh my God. never ever. I would ever, rather ever. be like bloated and like yes. <laughs> miserable than like let it out in front of anybody. Yes. Literally, if I ever do fart, it's like You're a tiny sick. baby whisper. It's like, <laughs> it's like, you know? And then you don't you don't hear like anything and it also doesn't stink either. Yeah. So it's a plus. You yeah. Know? I'm like, dang, you're so insane. Yeah, no, never. Well, so when you eat a lot of protein and you yeah. you're drinking protein shakes, like Oof, you really can't yes, help it. Yeah. Like gym girl things. That's so true. With with drinking protein, oh yeah, I get the shits pretty bad. <laughs> like <laughs> I have to find that video. I literally watched it um on TikTok the other day. It was literally like a list that this guy made. It said, Girls that girls that poop. Girls that <laughs> look like they poop but don't. Yes. Girls that look like they don't poop but poop. And then it was like girls that shit. It was like all of these like categories, but it was based off your, of your zodiac sign. What? It was. So I need to know funny. what Pisces is. Real quick. I don't remember. I'll have to accurate. find it. But Sagittarius was girls that shit, and I was oh like, Oh my god! You're like, oops. Me. <laughs> I definitely. Um, yeah, probably an undateable thing to say out loud, but whatever. We all do it. It's Yeah, fine. come on. It's natural. We all shit, <laughs> right? Oh, okay, this one. We're jealous of men who have thick, beautiful eyelashes. Well, yes, but I also have very beautiful, big eyelashes. I'm like, are, do you make it verbal? Have you told Oh, my Oscar? God. Oh, yes. Yeah. He's got beautiful eyelashes. Yeah. I tell him all it? the time. Why I don't do men, know. like, get lucky with that? I don't know. It's I not like, fair. It's always men that have, like, the best eyelashes. Yeah. And eyebrows. I have, like, no fucking eyebrows. <laughs> I don't. Well, like, I we don't them, like, microbladed. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, yeah. I have, like, three strands of hair. Isn't it like, funny how we get, like, a lot of hair in certain body yes. parts? And then the parts that we need at the most yes. is, like, not there. It needs to just transplant. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> From down here yeah. to up here. It's, like... Well, you know what's funny? Um, I don't know that a lot of people know this, but um, lipstick yeah. and oh, mascara huh? yeah. and most makeup is made from, like, things that you probably don't know. Yeah. Like, like the- I think whale sperm. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think, or something like mascara, that, Mascara right? and then lipstick is, like, bat poop. pig fat. Really? Bat With poop? mascara. Interesting. And then like whale blubber or something for yeah, lipstick yeah. or something well, like I've that. Well, I've heard sperm too. And then pig fat is like uh, yeah, lipstick. Yeah, I've heard of that one. Guys don't know, but now you know. <laughs> yeah, Girl, now you things, guys know. Things that, that girls don't tell guys. Um, this is what we do. If you're kissing us. To look good. With lipstick. Yeah. You're kissing a pig. He hates it. He hates kissing me with lipstick. Because he gets like, it on Yeah, him. he's like. Like, it's, like, very sticky. Yeah. You know, like, lip gloss. Oh, yeah. And he's like, ugh. Like, that's so... No. The one that I've, like, super liked lately um, is the NYX. The NYX uh-huh. Butter Gloss. Never tried it. Oh, my gosh. I should try it's it. It's super, like, smooth. And it doesn't give you butthole lip. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. And it doesn't, like, dry you out. You know how some lip glosses, they'll, like, dry your lips out. Yeah. Okay. So, the next one says the real reason that we don't want you to go down on us is usually because we don't feel clean yeah that's very true i feel like you know like especially like if you had like a long day and like you know you've been wearing your underwear and pants and then like i don't know you just kind of like we actually talked about this in the last podcast was that girls you know overpack underwear they go when they go on vacation but some of us especially the girls that get wet a lot have to wear Multiple underwears in a day. Like, oh, definitely. Especially if you're going to the gym. Oh, for sure. Like, you better shower and like for sure. wear a new one. Yes. <laughs> yes. If I can smell myself, I know other people can smell. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm like, uh, let me just. <laughs> <laughs> let me just. <laughs> Not. I, I'm a victim of the panty raid or panty sale at Victoria's Secret because it gets me every time. I'm yes. like, seven panties for like 35 bucks. Yeah. Yes. Like I need all the underwear. Under, they have George the best. Like, yeah. I love like the what is it the one that like they don't have wiring the seamless ones yeah. yeah oh the no shows yes mm-hmm. those are like my favorite ones mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they're so comfy I agree those are the best ones mm-hmm. um but yeah normally normally and we won't tell you like don't go down there yeah well I don't know I feel like if you've been with a person for a really long time then yeah. you would be vocal about that oh to- uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm like very vocal. I'm like, babe, I haven't showered. Today. I remember one time in specific where the this guy that I was dating 
we had sex like the night before mm -hmm. and then the next day he wanted to have sex in the morning and I immediately was like, no. Yeah, like, let yeah. me shower first. Yes. And like, we were like newing dating, so yeah, that after you've been together for a while, then okay, yes, like, for you sure, you get more comfortable with that person. But like when you first start dating, yeah, you're, you're you like make immediately sure like, that like it doesn't <laughs> smell or something. The thing is, it's like I actually had the conversation with Brittany earlier too. Uh -huh. Was that um, we were saying like after sex, like girls that don't get wet or like if you don't make a mess or whatever, like they just put their underwear back on. Oh. Like I could never. Wait, say that again? So, so like, like, after you have sex, yeah. if they're putting their same underwear that they oh. took off back on. Oh, oh. So, like, I get for, like, for, Sometimes, like, a, a hookup really. or, like, a one-night stand or, like, whatever. Yeah. Okay, you're trying to get out of there, like, put it back on. Yeah. But, like, if you're dating, like, yeah. I'm leaving that shit on the floor. Yeah. And going and, like, showering and getting another one. Yeah, like, yeah. No, definitely. Or, and like, like, I don't know, like, sometimes, <laughs> like, it's like really wet, like yeah. you know, like the the unders. Yeah, I don't want to put them back on. Yes. Like ew, I don't because like, you know, like when you have like wet undies or something, yes, and like ew. you put it back on, you're like it's cold. Like no, it's yes. weird, you know, especially when you wear a thong. Yeah, I actually saw a video the other day. Um, I don't think it was on TikTok. I actually think it was a reel on Instagram, but it was yeah. like a girl talking about how like after you go poop. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put the thong back on. You're like, yes, because it goes right up. You're like, like right there on your butthole. <laughs> and I'm like, like, always carry baby wipes. Honestly, I yeah. And those little so like important. summer's eve. Yes, yes. I don't, I don't use so those fucking because it messes with your pH. Yes, but, um, but baby wipes for sure. Yeah. When I go on vacation, like I can't tell you the amount of times that like I was dating somebody and I took baby wipes and yeah. they were like, can I use those? I'm like. Like, no, oh, well, these exactly. are for mine. I know what you're trying to use them for. No. <laughs> well, that made me no. laugh. Gross. Um, anyways, so <laughs> <laughs> the next one says, hormones mess us up on our periods, but the week before, too. Oh, that's what I'm dealing the with The week right before, now. I feel like it's, it's so even bad. worse, actually. Because oh, like at least worst. when you're on your period, you're like, yeah, you know, usually yeah. Just, like, you're usually like, yeah. and dead. And, yes. Like, but. The week before, you like rage. You like it's have so like bad, really bad mood swings. Yes, and, and like like this morning, I was so depressed feeling. Ugh. And like I know it's because I'm in a week I'm about to start. Yeah. So I know it's that, but like I hate that because it's like I have nothing to be upset about. Right. But like I had already done my makeup and everything and I was like, God damn it, I really want to cry right now. Oh, and no. I don't know what it like I don't know what's causing That's it. That's the worst. Yes. And just like my cramps get really freaking awful. Yeah. And like to the point of where I have to like lay on the floor or get a heating pad mm -hmm. and like I'm super heavy and it's just like no fun. It's yeah. no fun being on your period. And then what's funny is like after you get off, you have like those days where you're you feel you're like, oh, that's why I was crying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or you're like, yeah, I knew I was a bad bitch. Yes. Like it was just this fucking yes. period. Like <laughs> Yes, like I knew mama didn't raise no bitch. Yeah, <laughs> just my period. And I forget, I, I wish I would have written them down, but they're, they have specific names, like the phases. Of, oh, right. Like, it's like something like, with an the, L. I don't remember. I'll have to find cycle. it. Cycle oh. out. Yeah, it's something like that. And and I've seen a lot of uh, like gym girls like talk about it because yeah. like the week before, you like have been lifting this weight forever. Yeah. Yes. And all of a sudden you go to pick up the weight and you're like, I can't yes. lift this. Like, what? I'm not a weak bitch. Like, I literally had to look that up too because, like, that was exactly happening to me where I was able to lift like double the amount of weight. And mm -hmm. then, like, I tried to do it the week before my period. Yeah. And I'm like, I literally can only do like maybe one or two like reps, reps or something. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, like, what the heck? How did I lose muscle without, right? within a not, week? Yeah. Like, how did that happen? But yeah, it's because you can PMS and like your hormones all out of whack. And yeah, it can, it's, it's crazy what hormones can yeah. do. Yeah. I actually started using. Using um, this, I think it was like two years ago, but it's like mm -hmm. the little th thermometer that like tells you you have to like measure your temperature like every day, and it tells you um, it's called Natural Cycles, and they have an oh. app. But they send you a thermometer, and you take your temperature every morning, and it tells you like when you're going to have your period, when like and it what the yeah the app is really cool because like it prompts you to put like what your mood is, what? and so then it keeps track of like oh that these few days before 
before your period, you know, you were acting like this and this is why, or like when you're ovulating, why your temperature kind of like gets higher, you know? Okay, yeah, you gotta it's send like, me that I think it's like 10 bucks a month or something for it. That's not bad. And I think it's like $10 for the thermometer, but um, I used that when I wasn't on birth control. Mm, okay. So... Yeah. It helped me yeah. like track a lot of stuff because yeah. I was like, I don't want to be on anything. I need to give my body a rest. Yes. Know? And it also helps you track like how often you're having sex. What? And it asks you, yeah, and it asks you like if they pulled out or not. <laughs> because then then if you got pregnant, like then you would know. Like it says on there, like they pulled out or they didn't. Yeah. Oh my god, that's insane. Yeah, no, it's really like, cool. I just out, came but... up as like an ad, like literally like two or three years ago when I got it, and I was like, "This is cool. I'm gonna use this it." Is so cool. So definitely you gotta recommend. send me that info. I will. Cool. I will. I wish I had like a freaking discount code or something, but it's already low cheap, key so. though. You can I'm like affiliate. natural cycles. Reach out to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so the next one that I have, okay. Oh, I saw actually a TikTok about this one. It was a lady that is like a sex therapist, but Mm -hmm. um, it says that we women like to close our eyes during sex to feel it more Mm -hmm. because we have disruptive thoughts. So if we leave them open and we see something on our body that we don't like, we instantly are pulled out of the sexual activity and focus solely on that. It's so true. And I feel like we don't say that stuff to men yeah um, and guys will sit there and like wonder you know like why why are your eyes closed yeah like, look at me. or yeah. like sometimes we want to have sex with the lights off yes. or you know Definitely. there's so many yeah. things but like they're visual creatures for sure <laughs> like men have to look at you yeah they want to connect on that level which like again is fine yeah but for women like we do i prefer focus. the lights off <laughs> yeah i'm like we focus on like our roles and yeah. like our insecurities and like whatever and it's yeah. so funny because i've talked to um, I don't want to say like so many guys about this, but like mm-hmm. the guys that I have talked to about this, they say, you know, like a lot of times they don't care. Like for me, for example, like one of my insecurities is that I have a cesarean scar. And so anytime mm-hmm. that like I have been with somebody new, I'm always like, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Like they know that I'm a mom. So Isn't it's like it crazy? it's silly. But at the same time, I'm like, ah. Like, it's, like, an insecurity of mine. Yeah. Like, I don't want you to look. You're and, like, a worse it- critic, I swear. Like, like I look at myself and, you know, like I get insecure sometimes you know especially like looking in the mirror yeah and when i tell oscar that he's like babe like you have nothing wrong with you like i never look at that kind of stuff yeah. you know and yeah like it's crazy like what you notice about yourself versus like what other people notice about you yes you know? yeah um which is like one of those things that we talk about in boudoir all the time mm-hmm. too yeah. um like we preach so much like you don't – like, I don't see you the way that you see you. That's right. So that's why we're always like, you know, let me get you in front of my camera. Let yes. me show you what it is that you – like, other people see you yes, from their perspective. Exactly, because sometimes that's the reminder that you need. Like, okay, yep. I'm being, like, too much. I yes. need to, like, chill out. It's fine. Like, get yourself the right photographer. Absolutely. <laughs> Yes. Because, yeah, like the photo shoot that you did of me, oh my God. Like, oh my I was God, actually yeah. just talking to, to Oscar about that because we're um, planning to get married next year. Yay, finally. And so, yeah, it's so always like, <laughs> Ariana, you need to take my boudoir Yes. Pictures. But, yeah, so I think that, you know, she does an amazing job, but like if you get the wrong photographer and they don't get, your oh my God, it can really angles, like skew you up, your dude. perspective on yes. yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Can totally fuck you up. Like, yeah. It, it, that's happened to me once or twice before. I don't remember when it was, but like just anything. It doesn't have to be boudoir. Mm-hmm. It's just like if somebody gets the wrong angle of you, even if like on the phone. Yes. You know, you, and you're like, like oh, fuck. take a picture of us. Yes. And like it's usually some random on the street or something. Yes. And they do like a terrible job and you're like, yes. okay. We I literally had that experience um with Stephanie when we went to the Mavs game. Mm. Um we had a girl do it and she like didn't know like what she was doing. Yeah. And then we had another girl do it and she like knew the angles, made sure that we got like wide shots and close up shots that's and like so all the nice. things. And I'm like, dang, this girl's not People even. People go in the extra she mile. Did. Yeah. That's I'm like, that's so a girl. Girl, right there. That's exactly, exactly. You know we're gonna post this on social media. Yeah, like, like make it a good one. Yes. Don't don't give make me, me take your like your good pictures yes. and then you give me some shitty ones. Exactly. Or like when one person just takes like one picture. Oh my god. They're like, I'm like, I need options. Like you need to take like multiple of like. 
Yeah, and I you need, know, I I'm such a stickler for like I need you to direct me. Yes. I don't care even if it's like with my phone. Yeah. Because like when I go on vacation with like friends or whatever, and I'm like I want to post this, you know, like yeah. I want a cute like picture with the trees or like yeah. whatever. And like you're like getting like an angle like down here. Yeah. I'm like, like yeah, oh, that's the God. worst. <laughs> that's literally the worst. And maybe. Maybe we're the worst kind of like because we're photographers. <laughs> we're photographers. So like we notice those things. Yeah. But also like <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel, feel like you can train though. your friends, especially the ones that you hang out with a lot. Yeah. Like, okay, this is why you need to do it at this angle. Or That's like right. okay, get or down like there. Doing it like this. And then it's like more flattering here. You but know? you know what it makes me think of? Um, back in MySpace days. Uh-huh. And like when we Oh god Millennials. Oh god. Or did you ever do this like with the hand like this? Wait, what was like, in your hand? Nothing. <laughs> it's like a thing. What is like it like? The, the steam girls? Kind of yeah, thing? like yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I was never that girl, but yeah. Oh, I was I definitely knew you were. that one. You were definitely Oscar was emo too. <laughs> yeah, the spiky hair. So like, I wasn't like. Emo in my MySpace. I I did the black eyeliner. Oh yeah, like I raccoon. hung out with a lot of emo people. I listened to emo music, but yeah. I never did like the whole like side swept like cover one eye bang. Thing. I wish I my parents would not let me do like the they spiky. Like, no, I'm surprised. I wanted to do it so bad. I feel like my... you could have pulled it off back then too, though. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I look like a you know like a raccoon. You know like the. Where they would like dye their hair and it would be like stripes. You know what I'm talking about? Like snow. The trends are like not that. I love that that not stuff good. is coming back. Though. I know. It's so cute. I'm like, it makes me feel so old. Though, I know. To Literally. <laughs> like the early 2000s, like the the fashion. And they're like bringing back low rise jeans. And I'm like, please don't do and that. And bell like, bottoms. Like, yeah. For sure, I was like, I cannot do the bell bottom. Uh, like yeah I I feel like for me you have to wear like some sort of like specific shoe like heels or something like like open toed heels or something but you can't wear like these because I don't know it just looks weird Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know I feel like I look like a midget yeah, like, I'm like, that's how I, I feel look too. shorter. Yes. But I mean, maybe that's just my ignorance in like fashion and maybe there's a way to not make it look that way. But when you're yeah. short, like there's only certain things that we can wear. Yeah. And like for me, I will die on the hill of wearing skinny jeans. <laughs> Honestly, though, I, I have tried wearing like the big baggy ones and I'm like, absolutely Oh my God, not. so have I. I actually took a picture and I wish I I like had it to show you but like it looked like my knee was like broken yeah so, like, why i was like like the it's like you... jumbled up and stuff yes. yes it was not cute yes i will not be doing that i'm sorry gen z i don't care <laughs> like i don't care what you think is cool i came up with that <laughs> skinny jeans are the best yes oh this is a good one the sh- the social media deep dive stock that we do before during and after a relationship definitely Definitely. Yeah, we won't tell you that we do it. I'm sure. No. I feel like a lot of guys know now. I mm-hmm. feel like girls have been more vocal about that. Yeah. Or maybe they have some kind of inkling. Yeah. But we definitely stalk. Yeah. Like, I've actually had this conversation with a few single friends of mine, mm-hmm. and they'll say, like, um, whenever they match with somebody on the apps, they'll mm-hmm. ask for their Instagram. Of and course. And then they go immediately to their following. Yeah. And they'll see how many girls you're following, if it's, like, a bunch of, like, models or, like, oh, whatever. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that will immediately, like, give you the ick or yeah. whatever. And it's funny because, like, I never ask for people's socials. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. I I don't know. Like, I just – I don't. Yeah. So on my Hinge profile, when I was on it, mm-hmm. I have my – um my work Instagram on there. Oh, okay. I don't have my personal because oh, God, my daughter's I can only on imagine. it. And I bet guys are like, that's so hot. Yeah. <laughs> so what's funny is I, I get a lot of like, they think it's like beautiful, like art uh-huh. and whatever, or the complete opposite where it's oh, like, God. that's sexy. And like, when are you going to take pictures of me like that? Oh, and like, whatever. And I'm God. like, okay, relax. <laughs> relax we don't even know each other like, but yeah but most girls will do like a social media deep dive whether mm-hmm. it's like oh we will go deep into your facebook find out oh, who your definitely. mom is what your tag pictures yes. are i'm like is that toxic oh no it's not okay so like the other day i'm not gonna obviously mention who but there was this couple that was together for like so freaking long like years okay years 
And then they like stopped posting about each other. And I was like, what's going on? (laughs) And so I did like a little deep dive. Like when was the last time they posted together? Or like are all the pictures gone? And then I start going like, okay, what was her name again? Oh, it was so-and-so. Or like, what was his name again? And I look him up and I'm like, has he posted her? And then like I go on this deep dive and I'm like, y'all broke up and y'all didn't tell nobody. Yeah. Like, like, we, we were, deserve we to know. You guys have been, even yeah, we were, we were rooting, rooting for, for you. Yeah. We deserve to know what happened. So That's so funny. I've seen so many videos about that, too, on Instagram and on TikTok. Yes. When people are like, I actually saw another one that people are playing this game where they all, like, get together with their high school friends and yeah. they go through the yearbook and, like, yeah. search people, like, Oh, yeah, yearbook. I've done that. Oh, yeah, by yeah. myself. I've done <laughs> Like, I don't need friends for that. What, who's this person, this person what, up to? Yeah, what is this person up to? I haven't seen them in a long Honestly, time. Honestly, it is kind of shocking to see, like, who it is that peaked in high school, how many kids people have, yeah. where they're yes. living. Yes. I know, like, so many people that, like, travel all the time or, like, live out of the United States. Or, yeah, like, and it's Now they so have, like, cute. six kids. I'm yeah. Like, okay, yeah, well. What on earth? <laughs> yeah, that's my thing, too. But most of the time, like, I'll see somebody that, like, you know, I was, like, not... I was friends with at school, you know, like I didn't hang out with them outside of school and I would see them like on uh, Facebook and they're doing good and like, you know, they seem to be loving life. And I'm like, oh, I love that for you. You know, like I'm like silently rooting for you. Yeah. (laughs) Or, you know, just liking posts. Like, oh, I know what you're doing. Well, and I think that's the beauty of social media, too, is like we can still connect with people that we once knew and see where they're at in life. And like I have had so many girls that I went to high school with come and shoot with me, which is awesome. Like, I knew a lot of people in high school, but it's funny because they'll come to me and say, oh, so-and-so shot with you, so I want to shoot with you. Yes. And so, like, that's a good, like, word of mouth thing. Definitely. I'm like, if you're a new photographer, make sure that you're, like, networking, you know, because you never know. Like, Absolutely. And I've had so many people also that, like, follow me for years and will mm-hmm. finally book and say, you know, I've been following you for, like, three years, four years, and I finally decided to book. Like, that yes. is such an amazing feeling. I know. I'm like, you're going to make me cry, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. oh, my gosh, you've been following me for that long and, like, you know, just, like, totally in love with my work and now you want to work with me. Well, not so just that, sweet. but you as a photographer in general. Like, yeah. we obviously – hire people that we love their work but also relate to on a personal yes. level which is why I've always been like I I'm not shy mm-hmm. to share like what goes on in my life yeah um because I know other people can relate to the things Absolutely. that I've gone through especially like when I got divorced and yes. like now all the stuff with peanut like yeah so to me like even we this is probably something that we I shouldn't say but I'm gonna say it anyway mm-hmm. um photographers also deep dive stalk you Oh, when you definitely. book us, we're yeah. gonna go to your Instagram or Facebook, and we need to make sure, like, see what kind of client. Yeah, we're you are. a good fit. Yeah, good fit. I mean, yeah, yeah, you absolutely. Know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I've had I've had some people that have hired me, and then I find out later on that they've like said stuff about me that Ooh. I'm like, then why did you hire me in the first place? Kind Damn. of thing, and that's just like so disheartening. Yeah, when you like find that out later. Yeah, because I try. You know, obviously we try our best as business owners and photographers and whatever like yeah. to create the best experience for everybody for sure so oh my god we do stock yeah definitely we do <laughs> you're not just keep yeah. that in mind you can't hide <laughs> <laughs> oh this is a good one we fake not feeling well to not have sex when we know it's coming or it's planned <laughs> oops no okay. Comment. <laughs> okay. okay but this and i feel like also it comes back to like how long you've been in a relationship mm. but um okay let's say you had sushi <laughs> Oh my god! Sushi be running through some people. Yeah, like where's the lactate? You know yeah, what I'm yeah. Like if I'm farting, I'm yeah. not gonna feel, I'm not gonna sexy. feel confident or sexy. Like legs up in the air. Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. That was. Uh, or like some people get like really affected by like. Normally, it's anything that's like not American food. Oh, well, actually, yeah. that's not true because fast food. Ooh, fast food that can, can like, run right through you. Yeah. yeah. So. Taco Bell. But yeah, we we will. If I feel like shit. Yeah. Or like if I'm bloated. Or if, if I'm I, actually, actually tired. Yeah. Like we're we're going to say no. Yeah. Sorry. Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately for me too because like I want it. <laughs> but just not in that moment. Yes. Exactly. Like different times. Yeah. You know, like you get horny like at one moment that I'm not and then like I get horny when you're not. That's the worst. Like, constantly missing stuff. That's the yeah. worst. That's like when you're... <laughs> 
<laughs> like, that's like when you're riding on top and you can't like yes. match the yes. <laughs> the bounce. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. The next one says, oh, this is a good one. The amount of lazy when we actually are when we're off work and you have to go to work. So like your spouse leaves or your partner leaves uh-huh. for work and we don't have to work. So we're at home just being oh, lazy. Yeah. Like that amount of lazy, we will never admit it yeah. to you. Yeah. But it's like gross. Like Oh it- yeah. It's like for me, it's like what is it called? The um Ah, uh, like it's it's something to do with ADHD where you're like you're sitting. They always say like people with ADHD should like never sit because like oh, because once you just, sit, yeah, you're like I literally I'm not I doing know anything. I have stuff to do. I'm not moving. Yeah, yeah. But I cannot. I literally cannot get up. Like I just don't feel like it. Yeah, I'm fucking lazy. I swear I'm not like diagnosed or anything, but I yeah. Think oh yeah, I definitely have. Oh, ADD it's like or ADHD ADHD or something, worst, dude. Yeah. I'm like, I literally, if I know that I have to clean the house or like reply to emails and stuff like that, it's and like you sit down on the couch, or yeah, something, or, or on the bed. It's lights out for me. Yeah, it's like I can't. I literally cannot done get working myself for the out. day. We're yeah. checked out. Yeah, like, it's done. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the the amount of lazy that we get, like, ugh, mm-hmm. it's gross. Honestly, yeah, yeah I know. It's I don't want to admit. But that then, and then, like, you know, they're coming home, and you have yes. to like pretend rush. that you're doing something and not it. Or you yeah. rush to like clean. Yeah, or like I rush to the office, like my little Well, there's room. nothing worse than like your spouse coming home and they're like, you didn't even move. Oh, no. They, well, Oscar has never done that, thankfully. But <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I don't, I just don't want, you know, him to be like, what the fuck? You know, like, have you been sitting this whole time? But my thing is, is like, especially being a business owner, yeah. we have days where we have to like mentally, we cannot function. Yeah. We have to just sit there and literally be a couch potato and do nothing. Yeah, happen. which is so, it's honestly, for at least for me and Oscar, it's so hard to, you know, sit down and just say, okay, I'm going to have a day off. Yeah. You know, I feel guilty almost. Yes. You know, like I feel guilty because it's like, I know that there's some people that need to be responded to or like I know that I have these galleries work. Or there's need something that something. needs to be done. Yeah, there needs to be, you know, something done. Yeah. And I know that I need a day off because like Oscar and I, we don't have a day off. Like yeah. we just kind of like work every single day mm-hmm. and some days it's like not as Until, much work. Yeah, sometimes you like wake up and immediately roll out of bed and yeah. go straight to the computer to That's edit. That's the worst. That's Especially the worst. around the holidays. Like yes. around this time, like, photographers like people don't really yeah at least I don't think they do but yeah. it's a lot of work it's like we'll so stay much. up especially if like you're a dog mom or yeah. even have kids like I'm staying up late to edit your pictures yes. to get them to you on time for Christmas yes um and it's not even like that we overbooked ourselves or yeah. that you know we're bad with time management I mean it could be those things too yeah. but you know like Sometimes, like, we're just workaholics and... That's so true. It's kind of, it's, It distracts us from other things, you know? Yeah. Like, working. Like, mm-hmm. working, working, working. And then, like, I don't know, like, I just feel guilty when I'm not working. Yeah, that, even you know? on vacation. Yeah. Like, I, I was just in um, Oregon with a friend of mine, mm-hmm. and she was like, you need to, like, stop thinking in, like, TikTok and, like... That's so whatever hard, because though. I was like, oh my god, I could make a reel about this, or I could like let me just get like a cute shot of this like coffee shop and like get a video or whatever. Me and you think that way though. Yeah, it's just because you know like that's where we make all of our sales. Yeah, <laughs> it's from. I'm it's like that's how we media. make our money. We're yeah. creators. We. I wouldn't have even thought twice. But about the thing that. is too is like we are needed in the community in that way because yeah. how many of you guys like search on TikTok now or even Instagram or or whatever like a lot of people we obviously still use Google but yeah. like a lot of people now are using those as search engines uh-huh, when yeah. you want to find places to eat at a place that you've never been I to use before TikTok now. yeah yeah i'm like and sometimes it's fun to go be a tourist in your own city is, and, like, yeah. check out new coffee shops yeah. or, like, whatever. So I always like to suggest that stuff to my clients, too. I Whenever whenever I'm, like, trying to look for, a, like, a unique coffee shop, I don't go on Google because Google is only going to have, like, Starbucks and then, like, you know, and like, like, the like big bad brands. reviews, too. Yeah. Like, people are ruthless. Yes. <laughs> and you can't find the cute coffee shops when you no. Google. You mm-hmm. have to literally look on, on especially TikTok. Yeah. Like, Coffee shops, Dallas, or even same with like Instagram. Mm-hmm. That like those are like my two search engines. Yeah, that I use. and if you work from home or you're a business owner, um, like I highly recommend that you at least once a week 
go to a coffee shop and work there yes. or like go try like get out of the house yeah stop working on your computer there yeah. like take work with you or the you. library even yes, yes. the yeah. library in Frisco is so nice it is it's nice. like a damn college I know I've seen it's the pictures so of it it's so nice yeah. I love it and it's just nice getting out of the house mm-hmm. too yeah because as business owners especially being self-employed mm-hmm. like we it can be really lonely yes especially like obviously I know Anna and Oscar do the same basically the same thing yeah. as me. I mean, like, you guys run other businesses, too, yeah. but, like, I know they're busy, so I'm not going to hit them up. <laughs> I mean, you like, can always let's hit go to me the... up, but I know what you mean, though. Yeah, like, and I just never know, like, what other people's schedules yeah. are. And what if one day I'm, like, out on a whim, like, yeah. oh, I feel like going today, and, yeah. and you're, like, not even here. <laughs> No, but I get that though, and because like I think it would also be fun to just go to a coffee shop together. Like that's yeah. that's like my idea of like an outing. Same, you know, like a coffee shop. Maybe we can even like edit together. You yeah. know, like you edit and do your thing. Yes. I do my stuff. But we're we together. Need. But like we're together. Yeah. Like and we can enjoy each other's like presence. You yes. Know? Yes. But without actually having to like. You know, you know what I mean. What's funny is I think you and I do have that kind of friendship though. Like yeah. we're the kind of people that could. Like, let's say I came over mm-hmm. and we're just sitting on the couch. We, we can both be on our phones, but, like, yeah. we're fine. Like, it's yeah. not disrespectful or, like, yes. rude. Yes, exactly. Obviously, unless I'm, like, talking to you, I want you to put your phone down. But, yeah. like, I feel like a lot of people don't realize that that's, that's a, actually a thing, like, a girl thing, too. Like, yeah. especially on vacation. That moment where, like, yes. after you've taken a bunch of pictures, you just sit in silence and you're, like, like going editing through them everything. or something. Yeah, or like, yeah. Like, what is it called? Air dropping them to yeah. your... To edit them on your computer. <laughs> yeah, I totally get that. Yeah, you know? but I feel like no, maybe not a lot of people do that. I'm yeah, like, is that weird? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I just don't. Like, for me, I feel like, you know, hanging out with people in general can be so overstimulating for me. Yes. Because then, like, especially if I have people over at the house and mm-hmm. I'm like, I feel bad if, like, I start getting, like, that overstimulated, like, social battery is drained mm-hmm. and I'm like, get the fuck out. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, I just, I would rather, like, meet go somewhere, somewhere and then be like, okay, bye. Yeah. You know, like, after <laughs> and I go home. You know? <laughs> okay, see you later. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get that. Yeah. Um, I definitely get that way, too. Um, What's funny is I feel like as I've gotten older, I've been com- becoming more of an introvert. Mm-hmm. Um, Or maybe I'm, like, both, like, extroverted, introverted. Yeah. I definitely Definitely, I'm an extrovert. Yeah. I can talk to anybody yeah, and talk same. their ear off. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do reach a point where I'm like, okay, I don't want to talk to anybody for like the I next three days. I think that's called like an omnivert or something. Oh. Like where you're both, you can be like an extreme extrovert or like an extreme introvert. introvert. Very introvert. Yeah. Like you can spend days by yourself and yeah. totally be fine. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, I me not so much. Yeah, Couldn't. I always have to have like human contact, yeah. but then I learned that that's the reason why also I have um anxious attachment and what's the other one? Uh uh Something dependency? No, not that no. one. Um disos no. What is the other one? Why can't I remember I don't it? Know. Anxious and avoidant. It's an, oh, it's an A, okay, my bad. I thought okay. it was a D. Um but I'm both. So Are like you? depend yeah depending on like where I'm at in life or mm-hmm. like where my life I guess or yeah. the season in life that I'm in yeah depending on that like I I can switch yeah no and definitely. that's in friendships and relationships yeah it's for not sure. just relationships yeah oh my god <laughs> yeah I'm like Ugh. why are we like <laughs> listen I I have become so self aware this year I've learned so much that's about so myself. good though I think same. it was seventy five hard honestly yeah. like made me like I could totally really see internal that. like. Learn so much about myself. Yeah. So if you haven't done it, hey, January's coming up. (laughs) I'll do it. I was (laughs) technically supposed to start December 1st, like my phase two, but I'm starting um, the week after the first week of January with some friends. Yeah. That's fun. Maybe I I join in. You should. Yeah. The accountability. You have the the big jug already. Yeah. Yeah. The gallon. Oh, my God. This one's bad. Um, How insane and cringy we actually are. Or were in our past relationships. Like, we won't admit oh. that to guys. Yeah. Like, was... the things the, the things that you have, the extent that you have gone to for. Oh, my God. I could, like, mention so many. Like, I the things for me is that, like, the people that I used to date were total narcissists. Mm-hmm. And, like, 
like fuck boys, you know? Yeah. But like you're so blinded in love that you don't realize that and you're mm-hmm. like, oh, like, why hasn't he texted me in like a few days? Like, yeah. I don't want to be the first one to reach out. Right. And then, like he'll like, you know, like just stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like I just can't believe I put up with stuff like that. Yeah. You know? I had dated a guy that used to tell me that he would purposely not text me so that I would miss him. Ew. What it, is yeah. that? Fuck like, boy, like ew. serious gross. That's behavior. so. That is so manipulative. Yep. Well, he was a yeah. narcissist. So. <laughs> well, that makes sense. <laughs> so, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, definitely for sure. I I've done some. I don't want to say like insane things. Yeah. I I mean, I feel like I have a bad rep because I'm Hispanic and yeah. like we're always like getting told that we're like toxic and whatever, but. <laughs> I'm like, actually, ask any of my exes now. <laughs> they always come back. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. But also, like, I I actually, I'm a huge, like, lover girl yeah. in relationships. And so, like, I feel like that's why I always get, like, burnt. Yeah. Um, and I am used to, like, spoiling the person that I'm with. Mm. And that's something that I had to kind of, like go back on yeah um because i am very like generous so like with my money Mm -hmm. with whoever i am in a relationship with like if i know they're like struggling or Mm -hmm. um i see like a need um like for example this guy that i dated he was super into coffee Mm -hmm. and we didn't have like a coffee maker and back then i wasn't like i didn't drink coffee like at all yeah and i was like you know what like i'm just gonna treat him to like an espresso machine and I literally bought an espresso. So your love language is gift giving. I don't think it is actually. What? So like my top two are physical touch and um, acts of service. Okay. Okay. And then it's quality time and then it's gift giving. Oh. And words of affirmation is the last one. Okay. Mine's definitely physical touch. Like I'm always just like I need just hold like, my hand. yeah, like I need you, confirmation. That's so funny. Yeah. We shave even though we tell ourselves that we're not going to do anything with you. Yeah. So this you gotta is, be prepared. Yeah, this one is funny because I've also seen where it says, like, if a girl is wearing a matching bra and panty set, you did not plan having sex. She did. Yes, that's so true. Yeah. That's so true. And just, like, shaving, obviously. Because you never yeah. know. Things might go down in a different way. Yeah, and you but just the amount of times prepared. that I've been, like, freaking stood up and, like, shaved every, Like, did my everything shower and then they canceled. Ooh, I'm like, I, yeah, that would be annoying. I remember like being like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, <laughs> like I literally you're, did all of this for you. Yeah, I'm like, like you're being sent to the graveyard at that point in my yes. phone. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's just a like, huge disappointment. You change their name in your phone to the little like tombstones, basically. Then that way when they text that. you, that's, that's when they text you, you don't know who they are. <laughs> They've been sent to the graveyard. Me. Exactly. Hell literally. <laughs> Oh, this one. How much time and money we actually spend on our hair, makeup, clothes, and skin? Mm. We don't tell guys that. How much time? How much time or money? Like the like, hair. The I, hair is yes, expensive. I am not good with skincare. Neither am I. I'm all, terrible. and I'm not good with getting <laughs> nails done. I'm like not very a girl's girl. <laughs> no, like you my are hair. Super cute. Yeah. Well, okay. The the you know the clothes. The clothes. Yeah. Yes, I do like need to get my nails done more often. But mm-hmm. then I'm like, Ugh, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I don't well, like sitting down for. Like, I think that you long. and I also think very much in business yeah obviously we can't like it's so hard to turn it off but like for us and i've mentioned this before like i get my groceries delivered um but taking the time out of your day to go and get like this takes like what a few hours an hour and a half two hours yeah um so yeah that that's time that we could be putting towards you know that's guilt right there yeah guilt i'm like oops yep i'm like hey i I've been doing self care a lot this year, mm-hmm. actually. Mm-hmm. I need to start doing more skincare stuff. But I do too. But my thing is, it's like, okay, so if you're an esthetician watching this or somebody <laughs> that does skin, like, hit me up because yes. I'm willing to trade services with you yes. in exchange for freaking skin. Straight like, I need up. somebody to help me with that, yeah. like, especially getting older. Like, uh, what is it? The, the facials? Oh my and god! Yes, all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool to have that. Like, and a too. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, this one. Even if we're just friends, we have thought about whether we are attracted to you or not. And mm-hmm. obviously that's like when you're single. Yeah, no yeah, yeah. But for sure. I feel like we've all been there. And oh, girls yeah. won't tell you. We will of not course. tell you. We will die on that hill. 
if we ever have thought that you were attractive at some point. Yeah. And guys, I know watching this will get mad at that, but yeah. like it it's probably something that like we didn't want to cross that line. Mm. We prefer you as a friend. Mm. Oops, friend zoned. But like Yeah. I Sometimes can't, we just I can't want... actually think that far back. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, but yeah, I could totally see that yeah. like, being a thing. I'm know? like, well, sometimes I just want advice from a guy and I don't want it to be sexual. Like, why is it? Well, gotta... okay, yeah. All right, yeah. No, I feel like I've definitely had friendships like that with guys. But I, I don't know. Maybe back then I just like didn't really have that many guy friends. I don't know. Yeah. Or maybe you just sorry, didn't really I can't think really... about it. No. <laughs> sorry. I'm the worst. Oh, oh, man. I wish. Okay. I wish I had brought one. I thought I had one in my purse, but I wanted to use a tampon as an example Mm -hmm. (laughs) because this one, it's we know about toxic shock syndrome, but we will still use tampons. And at one point we will have forgotten that it's up there for a while. Uh So tech. So guys. Obviously, we're speaking to you here. Mm-hmm. Um, you're not supposed to leave a tampon longer than, what is it, like four or six so hours? I think, no, no. It's it's like 24. Okay. 24 hours, I think. But you're supposed to change it every yes. four to six yes. hours. Yes. Because, yes. well, depending on like what day of your period you're on. But, um, yeah. but, some, but girls will literally forget like, oh, that it's up there. There's or... been times where I've accidentally put two. <gasps> like, and I'm like, I'm like, I like, I, you know, have it up there. And then I'm like, okay, that one's done. And then I'm like, why is there a string? Like another string, and I was like, "What the fuck? I have two of them." Oh my god! Okay, I've never done that. Was, oh, well, <laughs> yikes! Yeah, I've done that like three times. Probably. I have t- the point where like the string like comes off or like has fallen off. Oh, and you have to, damn! Like, dig for it. That's never happened to me. Oh my god, that's a fucking that's nightmare. Me. Yeah. What if it got like stuck up there? I mean, it didn't, but I was oh, definitely my god. scared. Do you have to like. Like, yes. <gasps> Woo, that's yeah. so scary. Which is how I don't understand how girls that like use diva cups and all of that. I'm oh, like, oh no 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 no. I can't no. do it. Well, for I for me, I just feel like you. You know, like, yeah. Because I bleed a lot. It's messy. So that'd be like, yeah. like oh thank God. What I don't if it get like exploded on you? You know. Yes. You know. Yeah. I. But yeah, we will still use them, and yeah. there might be. It's I think comfy. I've seen. I think I've seen, like, videos of, like, guys talking about how, like, they have gone to, like, have sex with girls and, like, they have a tampon in and, like, they didn't remember. <gasps> oh, my God. And no, I'm, like, tied a finger and they're, like, what is this? <laughs> yeah, there's something plugged up there. Uh, the that? thing is, too, is, like, um, obviously there's days where you, like, you'll have a heavier period than most. Uh-huh. And then some days where you, like, really just don't have – or it's, like, the end of it. Yeah. And so, like, you still have to wear one. Yeah. Um, and if guys don't know this now, we're going to teach you, but there's different sizes and mm-hmm. it's not based off of how wide set That's your vagina right. is. The people, I can't believe guys actually like think, think this that, way. that like it's the whole, it's yeah, not, it's not. The, the reason there's different sizes is because you have different flows. Yep. So there will be a heavy day. There'll be a regular day and then there'll mm-hmm. be a light day, which yep. is why there's different sizes Mm -hmm. um but yeah sometimes like on those light days or the end days Mm -hmm. like you forget it's up there or you just have to wear one or like or you just forget that you for me it's like if you're on a lighter day and you're like oh i must be off my period and then you don't have one in and then like all of a sudden it's just like everything comes out that's i hate that yeah i feel like it's almost like a plug yeah no totally totally it yeah too bad (laughs) too bad (laughs) your pants are ruined (laughs) oh well (laughs) Do you remember when you got your period, like the day that it happened? Yeah, I was scared. Um, oh. I I had tampons with me, and I it was like the little petite ones, and I like put it up there, and I didn't know how to get it out. Like I tried getting it out because it was like I put it in the wrong way. Yes, and so I it like they hurt. Don't te- they don't teach. They don't you. teach you this. No, and so like I just kind of went in blind, and like I put it in wrong, and I was like trying to pull it out, and I guess my, my pelvic muscles were so tense oh like contracted yeah, yeah so i couldn't get it out i was like oh my god <laughs> like i started sweating you know like when you get nervous you're like oh my god oh my god i thought i was gonna have to ask my mom to like help me with Pull it, it out. yeah but i luckily like i was like okay just like breathe you know? yeah and, yeah like, i finally like you know st- not tensed up my muscles and i was able to get it out but yeah i remember that day oh my, oh my gosh god. my mom was like super against tampons she always mm. thought that like if you wore a tamp i'm like speaking from a freaking hispanic point of view yeah. again but um she said that if you wore a tampon you like you weren't a virgin anymore what <laughs> <laughs> that's a new one for me i've never heard of that like, how do you know how to put one up there 
That's wow. what that was, yeah. And I was like, okay. So I wore pads in the beginning, and that was okay. the most horrendous thing that I have ever experienced because it's literally like wearing a diaper. Yeah. <laughs> so then I eventually learned, like, I could use a tampon as I got older or whatever. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I had a, some pretty horrific experiences with tampons, too. Thank you guys so much for watching Boudoir and Beyond this year. We had so much fun making all of these episodes with you guys. And I cannot wait until next year to bring more people on and talk about so many new things. So if you guys have any topics that you guys want us to cover, make sure that you leave it in the comments or shoot me a DM on Instagram. Uh, make sure to to follow and subscribe the podcast on Spotify, YouTube, or Apple. Um, I think I also have it on Amazon, but I know most people just listen to Spotify. We're trying to grow the YouTube channel and obviously the Spotify uh, following. So um, thank you, Anna, for yes, being my co-host today. it was a today. pleasure. I enjoyed um, it. I hope that you guys have happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Merry Happy Christmas. New Year, and we'll see you next year. Bye.